All right, today we're going to go over some basic functions in Adobe Audition. My name is John McCauley with the Ben Marketing Group. Now, Adobe Audition is an industry standard when it comes to editing audio. It's one of the most useful programs out there. It's the evolution of the former program known as Cool Edit. If you know how to use Cool Edit, you know a lot of the basic functionalities of Adobe Audition. But let's go through and find this. So first off, I need to find an MP3 that I can edit. So we'll go to the biggest little sports talk shows horse race interview. So we come right here and we notice that this is about eight minutes of audio. Now when you're opening an audio file, you can open it from right here where you know, it says import file. Or you can also go up here to file and go to open. So those are two of the real basic things. So I want to go ahead and find a cut that I'm going to uh, I'm going that I'm going to isolate. So I go ahead and go right here and press play. Neon. Um, yeah, he, he taught me everything I know. This will be my fourth year now riding, fifth fifth year now riding. So. Okay, let's say that we want to isolate that little piece right there. The easiest way to do it, and again, I found where it starts and where it ends, and I've highlighted this section is to right click and then we want to copy to new or save selection. Now if you think you need to edit it a little bit more but you just want to isolate that one little section you hit copy to new. That creates a new file. You'll notice it has a little two next to it. The numbers will just keep on going up as you create more files and you get a close-up of this file and that's just that little section that we isolated before. Um, yeah, he, he taught me everything I know. This will be my fourth year now riding. Fifth, fifth year now riding. Okay, so we have that. So we've isolated the section and we can go ahead and we could save this as if we would like and go wherever we want. We can pick out what format we want it in. Normally MP3 is the best if you're going to have to send it. If it's going on the air and you're not going to have to send it to anyone, a WAV file has a little, is a little bit bigger file with more information that sounds a little bit better, but most people can't notice the difference, so normally an MP3 will work. However, the easier way than isolating this and saving this over is its own little section. If you know that you don't need to edit it any further and you just want to save that one little section, you right click and where it says save selection click on that and that will give you the uh, the option to save this as to save that little section alone so I've got this up from my desktop now it's got the same name as another mp3 that's already in here so I want to go ahead and add a little something so let's go highlight and we're gonna go ahead and save now I have just saved that just that one little section right there. So we can go here to my desktop and I can go here. Um, yeah, he, he taught me everything I know. This will be my fourth year now riding. Fifth, fifth year now riding. So that's the basics on how you isolate one little piece of audio. Another skill that you need to have is the ability to trim audio. So let's go right to the beginning. Now just real quick, when you are looking at the screen, there are two different ways of zoom, actually three different ways of zooming into sections. The first and easiest is using the roller on your mouse. Wherever the, you can go ahead and click on the area that you want to sort of be your anchor point that you're zooming around. And then as you roll up, it zooms in. As you roll back, or roll down it zooms out that's one way you can also go here there it is zoom in horizontally now again I can go up here and I can use my roller ball to go back out you can zoom in or zoom out if you just want to zoom in on the section that you've selected so let's say this selection right here we go here with a little box around it that takes you right to that selection. Now you'll notice it's not isolating it, it's just highlighting that, you know, it's just showing you that one little sec section in your display window. Um, so you want to, when you're editing something, you know, you want to zoom in to make sure you get right at the beginning, right at the end of the audio. So speaking of right at the beginning, we've got a little bumper music at the beginning of this audio. Let's go ahead and play it. <laughs> All right, welcome back. The bird is the word. So let's say we wanted to get rid of that music at the beginning. Again, you click on a, on your anchor point right here, hold down the mouse, drag it over. That highlights that area. 
Now, there's a couple different ways that you could cut this. You could go ahead and right click and, and hit cut. Now, if you made a cut and you want to undo it, the quick and easy way is hitting Control Z. That undoes your last action, and that's pretty much universal on the Windows system, so it's useful in a whole bunch of programs. The other way that you could cut is just by going to the keyboard and pressing Delete. That, again, saves you a click. It's a little bit quicker, but those are the two ways that you can delete something. A couple other things that I'd like to show you. Occasionally, when you're isolating a cut, there might be some music coming in, but you don't want to come in hard on the music. You want to fade in. So I will go ahead and delete this little section right here at the beginning of the music, and we want to fade in over one second. So I just go and I highlight this section right here, and I go to Effects. And by the way, these are a lot of useful things in here. So play around with these. These are some of the toys that are included with Adobe Audition, and it's pretty easy to learn these yourself. So we're going to go over here in Amplitude and Compression. We're going to go to Amplify and Fade. So we go here, and you'll see this whole list of different things that you can do. You can do a 10 decibel boost, 10 decibel cut. You could center the wave. You can fit in right here. We're going to fade in. So we pick that and we hit OK. And you'll notice what happened to the music is now it's fading in. The next option is fading out. That's also good to do at the end of an audio clip. Um, normally, you don't want your fade to last more than a second or two. So here's the result. All right, welcome back. The bird is the word. As we so there you go. So now you know how to fade music in. Same thing for or fading something in, fading it out. You know how to isolate a segment. And you also know how to trim video. By the way, trimming stuff off the end or out of the middle or at the beginning, all the same thing. You isolate the area and you either cut it or you delete it. One more thing I want to show you is how to paste something. So let's say that I want to do this intro twice here. I don't know why I would want to, but let's just do it for display purposes. So I go down here, I right click, and then I go to copy right here. Now this puts it on your clipboard. So you can go wherever you want to go. I'm going to go right here to the beginning and then hit control V and that will insert it. Now, the other way that you can insert it, I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z to undo that there, is to come in and right click and do paste. There we go. Either one of them does the same thing. When you are done with your video, or not video, when you're done with your audio, zoom all the way out and then double click on it. This will highlight the entire file. And then you want to go right here to this little dial, and you want to take the highest point on your audio file and line it up with this little white line right here. Uh, if you go above that little white line, then you're gonna, it's going to sound bad. If you go too low, then your sound's going to be a little quiet. <coughs> when you're done, simply uh, head on. My mouse is acting a little weird right now. Here we go. When you're done, you want to go ahead and go to Save As, find your location, go ahead and label this. So we'll go Edited and click Save. And there you go. And those are the basics on how to use Adobe Audition.